plaintiff, Christina King, dated the defendant, and they have a daughter together. Christina claims while dating the defendant, he cheated on her with five women, including one of her good friends. Christina suing her ex today for breach of contract. Defendant Anthony Jackson admits that he cheated on Christina, but insists he had no idea that the woman he was with was Christina's friend. Anthony denies owing Christina for anything. Start with you. Um, hi, Your Honor. Um, I met Anthony Jackson back in September um, 2013. We started dating a little bit after that. Um, we had a um, we got a one-year-old daughter together. Um, our relationship wasn't always bad, but it wasn't always good, Your Honor. Um, throughout our relationship, Anthony has admitted of cheating on me around with five different women. Um, one of the women was one of my best friends, one of my close, close friends. How'd you find that out? Um, I went to go visit my sister one day, and my sister told me that he had slept with one of our close friends. I went home, I asked him about it, he admitted to it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, Your Honor, I lashed out on him. Um, I did hit him. Um, How about your friend? Are you all still friends? No, we're not. Um, like I said, Your Honor, we have a, a one-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he he take care of his daughter when he can. Like, he, he really don't do too much for his daughter because he can't keep a job. He do what he can. He's not a bad father. Throughout our relationship, Anthony has admitted of cheating on me around with five different women. Um, one of the women was one of my best friends, one of my close, close friends. Plaintiff Christina King is suing her ex-boyfriend, who she claims cheated on her with one of her good friends. Let me get some background from you. I don't understand how she could say that I can't keep a job because I've had numerous jobs in the time that I've been with her. You know, I've had about seven jobs. I've always been through a temp agency. That's why she's saying that. What? <laughs> That's it's, why. It's because... The, That's exactly why. It's because... And they, I think anybody that hears about anybody that has seven jobs in two years, they'll say that person can't keep a job. No, they've all been temporary assignments, like through temporary agencies and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So when the assignment are in, I have to find a new job. I've, I've always had a job. I even have a job today, you know, and okay, Christina's good. always been hot-headed. Like, she said I did cheat on her and I admitted to it, and it was something that we were supposed to get past when we were uh, working on each other. It's been a year mm -hmm. since that happened, and we just broke up, you know, so... What'd it, you all break up for, in your opinion? In my opinion, I think it was because she still had a grudge against um, what, I, what happened when I a said I cheated. A year ago? Right. She was trying, you believe? And she yeah. just couldn't get past it. I think she was trying, yeah, and she just couldn't get over it because I didn't know it was her friend at the beginning. Yeah, she but was. her actual... Me. Quiet, ma'am. Her sister is the one who introduced me to this girl, you know, and her sister is the same one that lied about her introducing me to her, and she lied about, uh... She lied about Christina because she told me that Christina cheated on me. She told me that she used to take my car and go see another dude all the time. So that I true? was... No, that's not true, Yarn. I was... I was believing this that it was a reputable source. No, he brought this to my attention. He he knew it was a lie. Because even my sister's right, boyfriend told him it was a lie. Asking. Okay. All right, sir. How's your work situation now? You still doing temps? No, I'm at a uh, regular job right now. I'm waxing and stripping the wax off of Florida Good. nursing home. Um, that tell me about the breach of contract you're suing for. Okay, Your Honor. Uh, we purchased the car um, back in February of 2015. Um, we asked my dad to um, help us find a car that's reliable for both of us because I had just had my daughter. Um, my dad called us and let us know that he had a 2000 white Impala, Chevy Impala, 2003, for sale. He asked me how much money did we have. I told him Anthony has 700, I have 450. He said the car was originally 2150, so he'll put up the rest of the money for me as a gift because I just had the baby and that um, he'll bring us the title and everything and bring us the car. When he brought us the car, we gave him the money. The title, uh, Anthony signed the title. The car couldn't go in my name because my license was suspended in Pennsylvania. So we registered the car in Anthony's name. We got it to an altercation in November. Um, the police said since the car was in Anthony's name, he's entitled to the car. So um, after that altercation, me and Anthony, we were still talking, we were still on good terms. Me and Anthony agreed that if I sell the car or if he sell the car, we split the money. 
He sold the car come March 30th of 2016. When he told me he sold the car for $18.50, I asked him, well, can I have my money? He told me he don't have anything for me and I take him to court. And that's exactly what I did. Sir? Okay, so with the car, I don't know anything about twenty-one fifty for the car. The original price that was put up, I put up six hundred dollars, and she put up four hundred dollars. What I was told was the car was going to cost a thousand dollars. So we gave him the thousand dollars, and it was about a month. We were running around trying to get a car. We didn't even have the car yet. At first, it was supposed to be a two thousand and five Durango. And then somehow he ends up with that car, and then we end up with a car that's a O three Impala. And um, where's it, the car now? It's it, it sold. You well, sold it? Yeah. When How we much? broke up, uh, sixteen hundred. She said uh, you agreed to split it with her. That was when we were together. But mm -hmm. when we broke up, um, she told me that I can take the car. Why don't you think you should have to give her a portion? Because it's been numerous times where she's done stuff to the car. Like the one time she got mad, she broke all of the windows and out. And I paid she, for it. She I banged. paid to get it fixed. She put dents all through the car. She and I paid pay to get that fixed also. She didn't pay to get Did the dents pay? fixed. She only paid no. to get... Did you pay? No. Christina's always been hot-headed. Like, she said I did cheat on her and I admitted to it. And it was something that we were supposed to get past when we were uh, working on each other. It's been a year since that happened and we just broke up. Plaintiff Christina King is suing her ex-boyfriend, who she claims cheated on her with one of her good friends. Now let's get back to why you should not give her some of the proceeds, at least 40%. You say on by your own admission, you paid 60%, 600 on a $1,000 debt. Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't you give her the other 40% of the sale? Because that's not what she was asking for. What was she asking? $1,000. Okay. I had only made $1,600 off of the car. But that's I, was, not what I she sold told it me. to get a truck. All right. Okay. And you say uh, it was how much? Yeah, I know. He told me he sold the car for $1,850. He said $1,600? Mm hmm. All right. And nobody has any proof of how much he sold it for? No, because he mm -hmm. sold it. How long ago did you sell it? Was it was in March. Okay. What's 40% of uh, 1600 640. And ma'am, that's all I'm going to grant you today is 640, which okay. is 40% uh, of the proceeds. And that sounds fair because I'm not convinced of all the other shenanigans involving this car, how much mm -hmm. you paid to get the things fixed, how much daddy really put down on it, how much you really did this and that. All I do know is the sale. That's the issue now. How much do you get from the sale? And from the sale, you get 40% which is the ownership amount he says you purchased, and he keeps the other 60%. Have a good day. Thank Doesn't you, Your Honor. Doesn't set a plane up from 640. This shows my child's father, and even after all this, we've still been on good terms, so I hope to keep it that way. It's the same, you know. This is my baby mother, you know. I'm always going to have love for her, and I'm always going to care for her, so hopefully it could change after this.